Tonight, Metro Police shining a spotlight on pedestrian fatalities. They say five pedestrians have been killed in four crashes in just over a week, and you can see here where they happened. And tonight, we hear from a man who survived a crash. He was in a marked crosswalk when he was hit. He sat down with Fox 5's Kim Passoff. She joins us now live. Kim? Yeah, so he says that many drivers in the valley just ignore crosswalks. If a pedestrian is waiting to cross, they simply keep going. On the day of his accident, the last thing that he remembers is looking both ways before entering the road. The cars don't stop. We can be standing at the edge of the crosswalk and 15 cars will just zoom right by. Hal Goldblatt was hit and nearly killed last November walking home from synagogue. I got about maybe nine tenths of the way through it was probably two steps from the other side. A car came out of the Walmart parking lot and he says he looked down to adjust his heater. I was projected 79 feet in the air. Other men also leaving Temple ran to help and also ran to the driver. Because we don't use electronics on the Sabbath, they asked him to call 911. The next thing I remember, I woke up in the hospital 10 days later. Hal had substantial injuries in the ICU for two weeks, breaking both arms, both legs, several ribs, a vertebrae in his back, and fracturing his skull. I had a brain bleed, which they were worried about, but miraculously that stopped after 48 hours which they didn't think would happen. The recovery process for the father of 10 and grandfather of 29 has been excruciating. <laughs> Still in a lot of pain every day, he knows things will never be the same. I have more metal in my right leg than I have bone. But he is thankful to be alive. I can't imagine the pain they must feel. Family to me is everything and to lose someone. He wants everyone to hear his story of survival in hopes it will inspire drivers to slow down and be safer on the roads. My message is very simple. Pay attention. If you see somebody standing at the edge of a crosswalk, stop. Don't put anybody else in this situation. Don't take anybody else's life. And the driver who hit Hal admitted to police that he wasn't paying attention. He was cited for the accident. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The city of Las Vegas says they're trying to combat a steady rise of crashes that have resulted in an average of one fatality and three and a half serious injuries each week. Vision Zero is a strategy to eliminate all traffic fatalities and severe injuries by changing road design. First implemented in Sweden in the 90s, Vision Zero has proved successful across Europe. 